called him Death Singer. Our world, Ardonia, is a vast land, home to many diverse people, strange creatures, and dangerous monsters, hidden among the shadows of dense forests, beneath the sands of treacherous deserts, and frozen within the ancient mountains of the north, our secrets and mysteries, which have eluded our comprehension throughout the ages. Few of these mysteries, however, have attracted such fascination as the Ardoni species, for which the land shares its name. The Ardoni possess the unique ability to wield great powers known as songs. The strongest of these powers were referred to as Prime Songs, and were deemed too powerful for the Ardoni to wield freely. Thus, they were given to the masters of the four Ardoni clans as a sign of peace and unity. Because of this, the clans were blinded to a great danger. From within the fires of the Nether Realm, an army set out to conquer the Overworld. They vanquished the kingdoms and people of Ardonia as they spread across the land. But they were not to remain unchallenged. The Ender Knights returned during these dark times, long having been guardians of the Overworld. The two opposing realms clashed with a fury of inconceivable power. Yet the Nether had prepared well for this invasion. And even the legendary Ender Knights could not stop them. With no hope of victory, the kingdoms called upon the Ardoni to wield the Prime Songs. Reluctantly, the clans agreed and held a tournament to determine which Ardoni would become their champion and wield all four Prime Songs. One rose above the rest. Persistent, cunning, and powerful. The champion had been found. When presented with the Prime Songs, however, he revealed himself as Ingressus, leader of the long-forgotten and dreaded Voltaris clan. Outraged, the Masters refused to give Ingressus the Prime Songs, for it was due to their misuse of such power that they had been banished long ago. That night, while the clans debated their next course of action, Ingressus set out alone to reclaim the Prime Songs. One by one, he slayed the masters of the Kaltaris, Sindaris, and Mindaris clan. dark deeds, he became known as the Death Singer. The fourth and final master, Aegis Nestoris, survived the massacre, thus protecting the last and most powerful Prime Song. The Ardoni mourned the tragedy. They vowed to hunt down the Death Singer and to prevent him from obtaining the final Prime Song. It was at this time that the Voltaris clan returned from exile. However, even with their support, he knew that he was outmatched. With all of Ardonia now his enemy, there was only one place to turn. 
the Death Singer met with King Kronos of the Nether and formed the most powerful alliance ever known. And thus began the Great War. The Ender Knights rallied under King Rendor and fought the Nether head on. The humans reassembled their armies. The Ardoni clans wielded their songs of old. The Magnarites came from the south, the Felinas from the west. Some even say he was there. But despite everything, the Death Singer and the Nether Armies could not be stopped. The tides of this conflict turned after a young Ardoni joined the fight. Skilled with the songs, Achillean Nestoris was able to unite and lead the armies to victory, which earned him the name Tide Singer. With his leadership and the Undernight forces, the Nether Army was forced to retreat back into the Nether. With no allies, the remaining Voltaris fell back to Mount Felgrim. Here, the Tide Singer fought the Death Singer alone, and both were defeated. The Prime Songs were recovered and distributed amongst the clans once more, signaling an end to the Great War. Hawken, I failed to see. Hawken? Uh, 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 yes, exactly! So, you see what this means, Thalius? Hawken, were you sleeping Look through? Look here! Where do the Walls of Time say the final duel took place? Mount Velgren. Indubitably! Most legends, including these bungled Walls of Time, fail to state that the final duel took place on the mountain's peak. Alright, so... What does this mean? I've heard rumors of a presence on the peak of Mount Velgren. Being the naturally curious scholar that I am, I sent a few scouts to transform those rumors into facts. That was two weeks ago. And? What was their report? There was no report! None ever returned! Why do you think that is? I'm not... I'm not entirely sure. The Voltaris, Thalius! The Voltaris! You think the Voltaris are at Mount Velgren? Indubitably. I'm aware you've been hunting Voltaris ever since the Great War ended. So, I brought you here to inform you of this lead. It has been years since I lost the trail of the Voltaris. I should ride to Mount Velgrin and see for myself. Ah, uh, uh, hold up there, Thalius. Although I'm no chronicler, I feel it is my duty to accompany you and record what information we find. I would also like to discover the fate of those I sent to investigate. There is a chance we will encounter the Voltaris. And who knows what other perils... Fear not, Thalius, for I am prepared to fight. Wait, 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 somewhere around here I have a weapon? Unless I lost it... Ah, here it is! <sighs> Very well. Come on, then. Most likely this was all just a misunderstanding.
And this is where I sent the scouts. Right here, Thalius. Someone was here. Recently. I found their supplies. How peculiar. Why would they leave their belongings where others might find them? Because they are still here. You must be Thalius Sindaris. I've heard many things about you. And I have heard nothing about you. Oh, I know. I've made quite sure of that. So allow me to introduce myself. My name is Tigran Voltanis. As for you, Thalius Sundaris, I know who you are, champion. And I know what you've done to my clan. Your sword has slain many of my brothers, and once I kill you, I will take it and slay twice as many of yours! So many years have we prepared for this, and you are not about to interfere. There it is, Grim. If we pull this off, I'm about to become a very wealthy man. Hand me the schematics. Come on, come on, hurry up! According to these schematics... Grim, what is all this? I asked for schematics. I, I, I specifically asked for schematics of Etheria. How are we supposed to steal the stone when we don't even know which tower it's in? All right, you don't have to shout. You're gonna get us caught. We'll just have to do what I do best. Improvise. Stick behind me. Uh, and 
don't do anything stupid. Grim, you don't buy from the people you're stealing from. Now let's keep moving. Watch the entrance, would you, Grim? Redstone wired. It's it was wired. Run. Get it, Grim! I'm gonna be rich! <laughs> Grim! You idiot! <laughs> now we have to find it again before someone else does. <sighs> the energy trail pointed north, towards Underwood. <laughs> You're right, it is heading away from Etheria. So, let's get moving. Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> That's not fair. Do you think the undead fight fair? Or the nether? Or the many other dangers out in the world? And how are we going to get out there? One day we will. Somehow. Sandaris? Yes? I made you something. It's not the most beautiful weapon in Sandaria, but- Sen, this is incredible. I love it. If father sees this, he's going to take it away. Then I'll make you another one. Want to try it out? Of course. But now I'm going to destroy you with a weapon like this. Thalius? Our strength comes from not the power of our weapons, but rather how we choose to wield what power we have been given. Is this weapon your handiwork, Sen? Yes. Yes, it is. Your arrival is most welcome, Kai Thalius, but unexpected all the same. <laughs> it was unexpected events which have led me here. It's good to see you both. Is Rhea still besting you? No. Yes. It is a fine blade, Sen. Thank you. Hello, Timber. Your father would not approve of this training. I know. And he definitely would not want you to have what I'm about to give you. Uh, uh, also, you cannot tell anyone about this. What did you bring us? Songs? For us? In the old days, it was common for Ardoni of your age to wield songs. It is our unique ability to harness their power. To deny their usage is to deny the very thing that makes us Ardoni. Will you teach us how to use them? Patience, young ones. 
First, I have some very important business to take care of. Uh, now, remember, you cannot let Ocivian know about- Thalius? Is that you? Oh, Ocivian! Apologies uh, for arriving uninvited. Thalius, Sindaria is your home. You are always welcome here. But you two, I specifically told you to stay away from each other. Rhea, you have too many responsibilities to go gallivanting off seeking danger. I know, because I'm one of the few surviving female Ardoni. You've told me before. And Sen, I wish you would respect my wishes. I raised you as a member of this clan, even though by blood you are not. All right, Ocivian, I think they have heard enough for today. I have matters of great urgency to discuss with you. Then best we head inside. You two, go back to your rooms and remain there until I summon you. Lucan, since you continue to show good behavior, and your crimes were, once again, minor, we're going to accelerate your release. So, that explains the cake. A celebration! Don't touch my cake. There is one condition. You're being assigned to mining duty near the Basalt Coast. Mining duty? You sure that paper doesn't read milling duty? Uh, guess not. So, mining duty, huh? You mean... Underground? Where the undead are? You'll be protected by a guard like every other miner. There's no need to worry. Uh, I'm feeling much safer here in jail, actually. Say, what about road repair duty? Or home animal domestication? Well, this isn't a request, it's an assignment. You know how things are. Mines running dry, resources getting scarce. We're being forced to mine deeper into the dangers that lurk below. If you wanted to kill me, we could have just gone with an execution. Rhea, what are you doing? What? Nothing. What are you doing here? Nothing. Sen, a Sivian is right about some things. What do you mean? I'm one of the few remaining female Ardoni, and you're clanless. We'll never be going on crazy adventures like the stories Thalius tells. Here. You'll probably want this back. It was meant for you, Rhea. Keep it. They were Voltaris. At least seven of them. I have reported this to the Masters, but they refuse to take action. And why would they listen? You have spoken about the Voltaris and their return for the last hundred years. Without evidence, your words can only fall on deaf ears. I understand, which is why I'm not here to raise an army. <sighs> if I cannot convince you, all I can do is prepare. 
Someone is listening. Uh, Dalius! Sen! This is the second time today you've disobeyed me. How much did you overhear? Nothing. I, I was just passing by. You were supposed to stay in your room. I believe a stricter punishment is in order. No, that will not be necessary, Ocivian. I will take him with me on my journey, and discipline him myself. Hmm. I expect an improvement in your attitude when you return, Sim. Take him back to his room, and make sure he gets there this time. I'm really going to travel with you? How far are we going? What should I bring? Do I need a sword? Rhea would have wanted to come. Perhaps another time. Now get some sleep. We have a long journey ahead of us. Ardonia is a large world, and full of surprises. than tomorrow's breakfast, because you just... <gasps> a miner. A miner. Of course they need more miners. There's no shortage of quilters or bakers. Nope, nope. Just miners. <laughs> Typical. Another legally obligated miner here to do service. You've got to be kidding me. Anyone awake around here? Hey! <coughs> what? I'm here for mining duty. I'm looking for my guard, Eddie. That's me, Eddie, at your service. I prepared some beverages, but I it drank most of them. Um, <laughs> mm, potato? Uh, no thanks. I ate on the way here. Oh, the name's Lucan, by the way. Nice to meet you, Lucan. My name's Eddie. Let's get started. I've been a guard here at the base salt mines all my life, and boy, I'll tell you. I have guarded like you've never seen. My father was a guard. My brother was a guard. My sister was a guard. Wait, I don't have a sister. And I'm telling him, no, you shouldn't eat spider eyes. They're poisoned in one bite. But he eats it anyway. Uncle was riding a big off a... Stop, would you be quiet for a second? Oh, you get used to hearing strange sounds down here, Lucan. I hear them all the time now. I've got a bad feeling about this. We'll be working over there on our left. I mean, uh, right. Yeah, I got it. Zombies, I. I need to hold them off. Go raise the alarm! Eddie! What is this thing? Sam, shush! See? 
nothing happened. Come on, let's take it back with us. Abigail, were you out hunting again? Mr. Finch, Sam and I went out early to uh, catch something for dinner. Did you at least harvest the sugar cane before you left? Yeah, I got it. <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Finch. <laughs> I was going to get it this morning. <sighs> All right. So, uh, did you catch anything? Well, we would have got a pig if it weren't for someone. Well, I imagine you both are hungry. You see that pack over there? It's full of fresh meat, fruit, bread, and all other sorts of food. I bought it all in Oakendale during my last trip. I didn't need to hunt for it. On top of that, uh, we got a whole season of crops of our own ready for harvest. We're farmers, Abigail, just like your parents were. Now, uh, you go get that sugar cane before it gets dark. I'll be enjoying a nice dinner in the meantime. And uh, what's this? You are rolling up to the house. Oh, that? Nothing much. It was just a big purple stone. Nothing much? This is a dragon stone, Abigail. Oh, hey, you keep that animal away from me. Sam, cut it out. You know, things like this are beyond you, Abigail. Safe travels to you both. Thalius, I shall await your return so that we may have ourselves a proper reunion. Sen, I expect more from you when I next see you. I will do better. I promise. Farewell, Ossivian. Climb on up, Sen. Come on, Timber. We ride south with all haste. Are the undead out every night? Not every night. Not anymore. Their presence has diminished greatly over the past few generations. But you can never be too careful. Thalius, what brought you back to Sandaria? Events long past. Forgotten by many. The Great War? Yes. The Great War. I came back to Sandaria for this. A prime song? One of the four. Osivian had it all this time? But he isn't a master. After the masters were targeted by the Death Singer before the Great War, it was decided that the songs were too dangerous to remain with the masters. Ossivian's family has kept the Mobilian Prime secure ever since. So where are we taking it? I have reason to believe the Voltaris clan will return. And when they do, they will hunt down the Prime songs and destroy everything in their path. I cannot let that happen. Not the Ardoni. To you. I'm moving the song to a safer place. Get some sleep, Sen. Our destination is close now.
This is some grave news you've brought us. Can you describe in detail what happened in the mines? First, I saw this. And then they came from the tunnels, undead, using weapons and wearing armor. There have been rumors of necromancers who seek to control the undead and use them as an army. I've heard similar stories. The undead have been attacking strategically and in greater numbers. Lucan, you owe the Kingdom of Felden further service, so I am tasking you to investigate the situation. What? Me? I can't. I'm not... I just got lucky. You want me to fight necromancers now? Investigate. You will report back to us with your findings. Excuse me, sir. We're on the lookout for two thieves. Last reported heading this way. I haven't seen no one in these parts but yourself. What did they steal? A relic from Etheria. The Dragonstone. One of the few remaining in all of Ardonia. Oh, sounds valuable. Well, it's been all quiet here, as usual. I'll be sure to let you know if I see anything. Abigail, what are you doing? They were coming for the stone. I know. What, you think I would hand it over like that? I can sell it for a lot more than what they'll offer. <laughs> now, uh, hand me the stone. Abigail. <gasps> Abigail, careful with that. Everything was fine until you came in here and messed with it. You know, it was through reckless actions like this that your parents got themselves killed. What's in here, you thieves? I'm gonna report you straight to the Etheria car, and they're gonna Shut hunt it, you, you down. <laughs> Shut it, you old goat! 
Go back inside, girl. There's no need to hurt yourself with that knife. Put the stone down and leave. Try not to lose it again. I'm gonna give you one last chance, girl. be the worst necromancer I've ever seen. Sorry to disappoint you, but this was just a trap! And what were you trying to catch? Uh, necromancers. Like yourself! I'm not a necromancer, you idiot! I'm hunting them! So am I! A Felina? A human. That would explain the poor eyesight. Oh, my eyesight is bad? You attacked me first! Only because you had all this... this stuff! What is all this? I was hoping to draw out the necromancers. Necromancers aren't interested in rotten flesh. You'll just attract the undead. I think I may have attracted both. See? My plan... Whoa! Wait a minute! Where'd you go? Fun. Climbing trees, chased by zombies, what's next? Uh, hey, where'd you go? Quiet! Mm. Why do you follow me? Other than fleeing for my life, I need your help. I can tell. Come on inside. What is all this stuff? Don't touch anything! So, why were you after necromancers? Ever since I survived the attack on the basalt mines, I've- Wait, so you're the survivor from the basalt mines? You must be looking. What happened? What was their attack strategy like? Whoa, hey, look lady. I don't know anything about attack strategies or necromancer plots. I just got forced into this. I'm not a warrior, or a hero. I'm just someone trying to get by in life. And right now that means hunting necromancers. I'm surprised the leaders of Felden finally acknowledged their existence. I've been after them for years. Perhaps we could work together? I... work better alone. You can stay the night, but tomorrow you're on your own. Yeah. Yeah, I'm probably better off alone as well.
Lucan? Where'd I put my map? You mean this old thing? Hey, give me that! I told you that I'm hunting the necromancers alone! Hunting with this bow? Look, we both might be more of the lone wolf type, but right now we have a common goal. We might as well use that and work together. Fine. But once we locate the necromancer base, you're out of here. Deal. Uh, what was your name again? Nika. Don't slow me down, Lucan. Look, Sam. We are approaching Oakendale. Oakendale? Where's that? We are in Concord, the nearest kingdom to Sundaria. What are they? Those are Magnarites. Do not make eye contact, Sen. Stay close behind me. Even capital cities can be rough. cleared for travel to Crown Peak. Wait, so we're traveling further? We must be at the end of the world by now. Sen, we have barely crossed a fifth of Ardonia. We've not even left the north. What is this place? Thalius, where are we going? To the other side of the world, beyond the heart of Ardonia. Hold on, Sen. Things might get a little bright. And, uh, and loud. Uh, uh. Oh, you'll see. Welcome to Crown Peak. Back when the Ender Knights used to rule Ardonia, Crown Peak was the Ender King's seat of power. But the last king, Rendor, split the world into six kingdoms after the people rebelled. Why is one flag missing? That would be Carthen. Not so long ago, they attacked their neighboring kingdom, Sidonia, and withdrew from the Union. I, I can tell you all about it later. Now, now keep up, Sen. We are almost there. Thalius Sindaris. Solomon. What do you want, Thalius? That is a conversation best held in private. Thalius, what kind of trouble are you brewing, my old friend? 
well, quit standing around with a dumb look on your face and come on in. The mines are running dry, the undead have been increasing in numbers, and there's even word of a necromancer group on the rise. Out of all this madness, you're worried about an army that disappeared 150 years ago. Solomon, if you fought the Voltaris as I once did, you would know that they are more dangerous than all these other threats combined. Yeah, yeah, the Great War. The war's over, Thaddeus. Keep your nose out of trouble, kid. This here is the greatest house in Crown Peak. Most expensive, too. Frankly, I deserve it, considering all I've had to deal with keeping my business alive. Only thing is, you've got to mind the drop. 25 meters straight down. There was a time when Indonites ruled the land and their dragons soared the skies. They never clashed in battles of unimaginable force. The undead were a menacing threat to be feared, and even the Ardoni clans wielded great songs of power. That time is over. I believe that time is coming again. I need you to safeguard a prime song. Can you do that for me, Solomon? Can you safeguard this? Yes, yes, I've got it. Will that be all, Thaddeus? That will be all, Solomon. Thank you for your help. Yes, that's what I do. I don't trust this guy, Thaddeus. Not one bit. He may seem difficult, but he is good at what he does. Nearly all of his life he's run a black market potion business without being discovered. A skill which I am counting on. Come on, Sen. We have another long journey back home. Ooh, I was about to send for a doctor. You've been out all day. Look easy there, Abigail. You're in no condition to be moving about just yet. The Dragonstone. Yeah, those thieves made off with it. Don't let it trouble you. You know, this is what happens when we meddle with affairs that don't concern us. We're farmers, after all. No. What did you just say? I'm not a farmer. I'm going after that stone. If we try to alert Etheria, it'll be too late. But Sam and I can track them while their trail is fresh. Abigail, I forbid you to do this! I know you do. And I'm sorry. Come on, Sam! Abigail! Felina female who was with you the other night. Where is she now? Which night are we talking about? I get my Felina girls mixed up. Don't fool with me, scum. I want to know where... As a matter of fact, I was. Well, here I am. Now it's my turn to ask questions. I'm not telling you anything. The necromancers will soon rise and cover the world in dark. <laughs> what? Nika? What? You heard him. He 
said he wasn't going to tell us anything. Or were you enjoying his little speech? Well, what's the plan now then? Hmm. I can disguise myself with his robes. Maybe follow their tunnels back to their base? Uh, yeah. One problem. That was a human male. Might be a bit strange if a Felina female returns in this place. I'm a human male, by the way. Fine. Just put on the robes. Obsidian. Where would there be obsidian in this area? The only volcano around. Mount Tempest. Uh, it's hot. And itchy. It's only going to get worse inside the volcano. <sighs> Great. Oh, and uh, take our prisoner back to the Riverstead prison while I'm away, all right? I didn't know Riverstead had a prison. Well, it does. Are you sure? Pretty darn. How do you know? What? Nothing. It just does. I should go. Hey. Good luck. Try not to die. I'm going to need more than luck. You should be asleep, Sen. So should you. <laughs> if only. A lifetime of wielding songs has had certain... adverse effects on my health. Thalius, what was the Great War like? They call it the Great War. But few things about it were great. Many lives were lost. And the Ardoni? The Ardoni were nearly brought to extinction. Did you ever meet the Tide Singer? Oh, yes. We fought together on occasions. His true name was Achillean Nestoris. And he was the greatest song wielder I have ever known. His true power, however, lay in his ability to unite and lead so many diverse people and factions. And he was killed by the Death Singer? <sighs> Nobody really knows who killed who. But yes, both were killed. When an Ardoni dies, their songs are left behind. After the battle, the songs of both the Tide Singer and the Death Singer were found. Some people questioned what really happened. But most were just glad the war was finally over. Thalius, do you know where I'm from? Your parents were both killed by the Voltaris. And you were the only one of your brothers and sisters I could save. I could not raise you myself with all the traveling I did. So, uh, I looked for someone who would be willing to take in a child. But no one would accept a clanless child. Apart from Osivian. He raised you, and cared for you. And even though you may not have been Sindaris, he named you after the clan. Sen. So you would always have a place to return to. I know this is not what you wanted to hear, but perhaps the truth will help you one day find peace. I understand. Thank you for being honest. <sighs> Hurry up, Grim! These animals are blowing our cover! Oh 
not this girl again! I told you we got lost in those woods on the way out! Some shortcut you had. <laughs> this time, you deal with the girl, I'll get the horses. Quit rolling around! Not on my horse, you idiot! Get your own! Cloud? Here, girl! <laughs> Forget the horses, Grim! Run! Hey, Darlene. Sorry for the trouble. I was hoping to catch them before they left the woods. It's all right, Abby. Nobody's hurt, and those thieves didn't make off with one of my horses. Over here, Cloud! It's been so long since you've come by, Abby. Why don't you stay for a bit? After you've rested, we can catch up with them on horseback. <sighs> Thanks, Darlene. That'd be much appreciated. Apparently they stole some dragonstone from Etheria. When I found it in the woods, they came for it. That's not just a dragonstone, Abigail. It's an ender dragon egg. No wonder they were so determined. It's an egg? <laughs> Come on, you know the stories. The ender knights used to protect the land alongside their dragons. That was years ago. Both the ender knights and their dragons have vanished. So, how did you persuade Mr. Finch to let you go on this hunt? I didn't. I just... left. <laughs> About time. I don't know how you managed to live with him. He may be a strict old grouch, but he has looked out for me ever since my parents died. I can't just forget that. <laughs> Tabora Crags. They're going to use the ravine to stay out of Concord's borders. This is as far as I can take you, Abby. Thanks for your help, Darlene. I'll have to pay you back someday. You already helped save my horses from being stolen, Abby. This is the least I could do. Be safe on your hunt. Recognize these trees? We're near Sendaria, right, Thalius? That is correct. Your home is just ahead. This was quite an adventure, Thalius. Thank you for having me along. <laughs> I would hardly call this trip an adventure, but you are most welcome. <laughs> beginning to think you had backed out on our arrangement, Jalkar. Yeah, we had a few delays along the way. I was informed that you were to come alone. Your companion was not part of this agreement. Neither was the amount of trouble we ran into. I think compensation is in order. After all, this is a dragon egg we're talking about. <laughs> Have it your way, mercenary. We will compensate for your extra... Uh, trouble. But your companion is not part of the deal. The Voltaris will not pay a second share. Don't worry your glowing little head about it. Grim is my problem. So, how much are we talking? 
I'm sure you'll find the amount sufficient. Now, hand over the egg. I don't think so. We'll be collecting the reward first, thank you. Or, we could just kill you and forget the reward. This could be unwise, Zenaida. The mute one. I believe he is the Reaper. Shut it, Lucidius. Smart man, your second. The Reaper's with me. Has a debt to pay off. By my calculations, you're outmatched. Outmatched? <laughs> Kill them. hated Ardoni and their blasted songs. They do sell for a lot, though. Well, quit looking so happy! <sighs> now we need to find a new buyer for this egg. Come on, someone in the Unyielding Legion should be able to find us one. The two thieves. Where were they heading? I don't know. We were just sent to intercept them. Are you an Ardoni? Never seen an Ardoni before. <laughs> well, go on then. Finish the job, girl. I'm not here to kill you. I just want the dragon egg back. They are heading northeast. Just follow the border of Concord. Right. There's no need to be embarrassed about failing the mission. At least you survived. However, the Valina is more dangerous and resourceful than we anticipated. We'll have to report this to his lordship. Ooh.
Up there. Come with us. We have a new mission. Sen, wait! Let go of me! <sighs> Whoever did this could still be here. <sighs> wait here, Sen. I will check for survivors. We have to leave. Now! We will go to Ataraxia. You will be safer there. Centaurus, we meet again. I noticed you moved the Prime Songs. I need them. Can you not see? Look, look what you made me do. I have fought against your kind for 200 years, Tigran. Whatever the Voltaris are planning, I will stop it. You won't escape this time, old man.
time to put an end to this nuisance. Burn it. Would you look at that? My flint and steel appears to be broken. Here, take mine. <sighs> What's the matter, rookie? Or should I say, traitor? I knew it! I knew there was something wrong about you the moment I found you. I should have let the undead kill you right then. But... Perhaps this death will be more ceremonious. You will watch helplessly as everything you fought for is destroyed and burned. And after we're finished, we will find the Felina. And we will kill her. <laughs> Perhaps we'll feed her to the spiders. They have quite the appetite. not afraid of heights, but you're scared of jumping in the water! I can't swim! Felinas hate water, Luke, and we hate- ah! Ow! Watch the claws! Water again. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about your tree fort. I'm not worried about the tree fort. We lost all that information, though. All my records, my maps, my notes. Everything I've learned about the necromancers. We didn't lose all of it. That information is still with you. And with me. I found the Necrobase, Nika. You were there? Where is it? Directly under Mount Tempest. Of course! No miner would ever go near there because of all the lava! It's the perfect place for a hiding spot. I need to report this to Felden. I guess this is, um, where we part ways. I... I should accompany you to Felora. They might want some of my information as well. Not to mention, you might need my help again. Ah! We have to keep going. We need to get help. Somebody. My village was attacked. It's not far. We need to look for survivors. Yeah, we don't sell that here. You can buy a drink or get out. Anyone? Please. <sighs> Watch where you're going! They're all gone.
We're not going back to Sandaria. There's nothing left for us. Thalia spoke of Ataraxia. Our mission now is to find the place and figure out why he wanted us to go there. What's going on? One of them Magnarites is on the edge of our town. Been stirring up trouble with the local folk. Absolute menace, I tell you. The lot of them. Well, have you tried asking it to leave? Like anyone's dumb enough to go near that thing? I don't think you belong here either, huh? Why don't you get that Magnarite to leave with you? Fine. I will. Hmm? Oh, hello there. I hope you don't mind if I read here. It's a nice bit of shade. Uh, not that I need any shade or anything, you know. Uh, well, I don't mind, but I think the people here want you to leave. Ah, pity. It's difficult to find a place to catch up on my reading. Been forced to travel my whole life. <laughs> Hang on, would you, by chance, know where Ataraxia is? Oh, never heard of it, but it appears you need a map. But you'll never find one here. Now this town is too small and rather lacking in the educational department, if I might add. Did you... Isn't that bothering you? Oh no, I'm used to it. Hey, you know what? Why don't we travel to Bigger Ten? It's just up the road. Surely they have a map available for purchase, right? <laughs> yeah, getting out of here sounds like a good idea. I'll grab my horse. Oh, you have a horse? Oh, I can't ride horses because I'm too heavy. But wait, we haven't been introduced. My name's Igneous. And you? Sen. Well, it'll be great to have some company on the road, Sen. You see, I've been alone for a while and have had no one to talk to, so I mostly just read books or discant with animals, but that's rarely an enjoyable experience because animals don't actually talk back, so the conversation's often very one-sided. Get down! Enderman, don't look at it, Grim. Come on. Grim! This job has already become far more trouble than it was worth. Let's hurry and get out of here. Come on, Grim! Put your back into it! Sorry, mate, but I can't be slowed down anymore.
really convenient that we don't need to eat or sleep, but our life goes by so quickly. I'm 14, so even though I'm still a child, by most standards, I'm already about halfway through my life. I'd love to experience everything I can, but being a Magnari born outside of Carthen is tough. You know, that reminds me, where are you from, Sen? What's that? Or where are you from? Why aren't you with the rest of your family? My family is no longer around, Igneous. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, there's nothing you can do to alter the past, so it's best not to dwell on it. What's important is moving forward and making the most of your current situation. Oh, but I don't need to tell you. Here we are, journey. Give me the horse, now! <laughs> Excuse me, sir, but this horse belongs to my friend Sen over here. Wait, I didn't mean to hurt you. Huh. I don't know what came over me. Oh, but it didn't hurt him too much. Oh, look, we've arrived at Biggerton. Come on, Zen. <laughs> you are absolutely sure of this, Lucan? Yes. The necromancers are living beneath Mount Tempest. They appear to be preparing for a large-scale invasion. If the necromancers are raising an army, we must strike them now. I agree. Lucan, take this directive to Fort Zuka. We will send the armies of Felden to eradicate this threat before it has time to spread. What'd they say? Well, they've officially declared war on the necromancers. We have orders to deliver a message to Fort Zuka. They actually said for both of us? Uh, yep. Looks like we're stuck together for just a bit longer. So, after we deliver the orders, what then? Any plans for what comes next? Oh, I, uh, I haven't given it much thought. How about yourself? I don't know either. This is what I've been doing for years. I can't imagine it coming to an end, let alone what comes after. Maybe we can locate a map in here. Back in the old days, taverns were filled with tales of heroes. Most of it out and down. We sang out songs of war, adventure. And magic. Those same people used to worry about legends such as Hero Brian. Uh, don't say his name. It's bad luck. Sorry to interrupt, but do you know where we might find a map? Well, Marshall's map shop is across the street. You should find what you're looking for there. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. Could we stop here and eat first? <laughs> oh, Magnarites don't eat. Remember when I told you that? Ah, uh, yes, I must have. Missed that part. I'll just take some bread, please. Got money to pay for it? <laughs> Stupid Ardoni. No money, no service. Uh, here, Sen, I have some gold you could borrow. Let's get your food and go. That's right. You better leave. What was that all about? No one really trusts Magnarites. Most of us tend to be aggressive, and the whole <laughs> attacking our neighbor fiasco hasn't helped our reputation. But now is not the time to digress. Let's go find that map. Welcome. What can I help you with today? Hi. We'd like to purchase a map of Ardonia. All right, that'll be 50 gold. Uh, this is a map of Concord. If you want all of Ardonia, it's going to cost you double. Yes, we want all of Ardonia. That's what we asked for. All right, that'll be 200 gold. I thought you said it'd be double. It's 200 gold, pal. Welcome to Marshall's Map Shop. We've got maps of Ardonia for the price of 50 gold. Wait, I thought you just said it was 200 gold. For you and your friend, it's 200. Now, do you want to buy it or not? Well, Sen, I'm truly sorry about that. 
Might have been better if you'd gone in without me. People tend to act like that once they see a Magnarine. This is ridiculous. And how are we ever going to get to Ataraxia without a map? You can borrow mine for a moment. Really? Well, thank you. We appreciate it. Merchants like to take advantage of young travelers. Are you a traveler? For the moment. I'm tracking someone. He stole an Ender Dragon egg from Etheria. An Ender Dragon egg? I believe we ran into someone earlier today who had one. You did? Where? Not far. Just northeast of Biggerton. He tried to steal our horse. That's him. Oh, sorry, but I'll need my map back. Did you find the place you were looking for? I did. Fortunately, it's close by. Thanks for your help. You as well. What a nice person. Shame we didn't even get your name. Oh well. Off to Ataraxia. I've always wanted to see the inside of Fort Zuka. You must be Lucan. A messenger bird flew in yesterday and alerted us of your arrival. Yeah, uh, that's me. I have a directive for the captain. Right this way. Kiyoshi? Fancy seeing you here, Lucan. And it's Captain Kiyoshi now. Well, it's good to see Felden is willing to promote anyone with the right father. The realm is much safer in your capable hands. <laughs> and how about you then? You talk big for someone who's been to prison more times than claws on my hands. You've been to prison? It was nothing. Oh, I'm sure he knows most of the local prisons quite well by now. But enough of these pointless insults. Hand over the orders from Felora. Come on, Nika. Let's go. Hold it. It says here, Lucan, you're to accompany me in the attack. Wait, what? <laughs> Let's try to be professional about this. I don't want a criminal in my ranks any more than you want to be under my command, but orders are orders. So let's get this mission over quickly, for both our sakes. Try not to mess things up. According to the map, Ataraxia should be on the other side of that mountain. I didn't notice this river, though. Not quite sure how to cross. Huh. That's funny. There's no road leading to the city. Uh, Sen, <laughs> another thing about Magnarites. Just a little something. Um, I don't think we can swim. Oh, look at that! It's a guardian! Are they friendly? I think so. Uh, Igneous! Uh, I've got you, Sen! I guess they're not so friendly after all. It's gonna take more than that to take my friend. <laughs>
promised you wouldn't sit so close to the edge. Is that better? Much better. So, you never told me you've been to prison. <sighs> yeah, it's not something I share often. What do you do? Uh, it was... I mean, it wasn't really anything. Did you kill someone? What? No! I just have a tendency to... get into trouble, alright? I'm not like Kiyoshi, who knew exactly what he wanted to be all his life. I just can't see myself working a normal job. The same routine every single day. I... I'm probably not making any sense. No, I know what you mean. Even before I hunted the necromancers, I never really fit in with society. I think... Free it up, Lucan. We're ready to sail. Unless you'd rather swim. Well, I guess this is it. It was nice getting to know you, Nika. Yeah. Likewise. All right, well, goodbye. Be safe. Captain Kyoshi, sir. At ease, soldier. As a Felina, I can understand being fearful of the oceans. But I suspect this is not what troubles you, Alec. No, sir. It's just... Defending against undead and rooting out bandits is one thing, but this? This is greater. These undead are coordinated, armed, and ruled by that dangerous psychopath they call the Necrolord. I've been serving Felden ever since my grandfather was captain of the guard. I was half your age and expected to become the next captain after... my father. How long have you been in the military? Only three years, sir. In those three years, you've had more training than any of these necromancer scum. When we find this necrolord, I'll kill him myself and the rest will falter. If you obey my orders and remember your training, we will sail the victory today. Yes, sir. Unbelievable! This is unprecedented! All four Ardoni clans were attacked. One village each, all dead. Slaughtered. Not just any villages either. They were after the prime songs. Many times has Thalius Sindaris warned of this, and because of his efforts, the prime songs are safe from the Valtaris. For now. Do not be so hasty, Galadar. We are not certain this tragedy was the work of the Valtaris. It may have been bandits, or the unyielding legion. I have also heard about a necromancer group rising in the west. Then what will we do? As much as it pains me, I must concede with our previous judgment. We are too weak to attack, and we risk too much. Long has it been an honor for us masters to light the graves of our dead, so that their markings may shine forever. But the stones we lit today did not signify the passage of elders concluding long life. Today we buried innocents, massacred by an enemy we no longer have the strength or courage to repel. Master Aurelius speaks wisely. 
I will go forth against the Voltaris. Thalius warned us of a Voltaris attack on the Prime Songs, and the attack came. Before moving them, he told me that the Voltaris were on Mount Velgren, where they killed a companion of his, Hawken. I'm no master, and I have no partner in life. I will do what I must to eliminate the Voltaris, once and for all. What you propose will bring our clans to war. Master Sidarian, we face an even greater danger if we allow the Voltaris to grow in strength. I will go with you, Zulius Kaltaris. As will I, brother. The only way to end this threat is to face it. The Ardoni will go to war once again. We will send word to the other clans and gather all Ardoni warriors who are willing to fight. Many years has it been since we last wielded the Songs of War. Let us hope we remember how to use them. Sen! Sen, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. What happened? I, I... I don't know. They just suddenly let me go. Huh. I guess we're clear to pass. Come on, wait. We don't know if it's safe. This is the last one, Sam. Well, we're just going to have to go hunting then. Thank <laughs> you. 
that guardians are some of the oldest species in Ardonia. Older than even the Glacians. <laughs> what were they doing, though? They nearly drowned me. Well, they're probably trying to figure out which Ardonia clan you're from. As their name implies, they guard some of the most ancient and treasured locations from unwanted intrusion. <laughs> Adaraxia must be important if it has guardians defending it. Well, I guess this is Adaraxia. It's a bit smaller than I expected, but nice to see an Ardoni city for once. So, <clears throat> what is it we should be looking for again? Let's find a place for Timber and go check it out. You know, I just don't think I could be a frog. I know. No, I don't even understand what they're feeling. Their attacks were just the beginning. The Voltaris are indeed returning, and we need an army to face them. Did you not hear? We have been gathering our Doni and are attacking the Voltaris within a fortnight. They will threaten the clans no longer. This is bigger than that. We need to be ready to defend all of Ardonia. <laughs> you exaggerate. I am disappointed you will not join us. Let us go, Hadeon. <sighs> I agree with what you said. My village was destroyed by the Voltaris, and I know what they're capable of. Interesting. I've never met an Ardoni without a clan before. I am Hubris Nestoris. Your turn. I'm Sen. This is my companion, Igneous. Greetings. A clanless Ardoni and a Magnorite. You two could work. I'm recruiting for a new resistance group known as the Knights of Ardonia. We could certainly use a Magnorite in our ranks. That's a tempting offer. But I have some things to take care of first. The Knights of Ardonia will always be recruiting. Seek us out if the opportunity presents itself. And, uh, good day. What a strange fellow. So, where's your next, then? Well, I'm not quite sure what we're looking for. Or why. Igneous, wait up! Have you come for fresh tools? Or do you require repairs of your own? Thalius? Thalius is my brother. I am Gallius. Although, most in the city should know that. I didn't know Thalius had any surviving brothers. Yes, I get that a lot. <clears throat> he never spoke about me, nor I him. While he is out there adventuring and exploring, I just live the mundane life. Gallius, sir? Your brother, Thalius, is dead. He was killed in a, a Voltaris ambush. Was he? <sighs> I always told him to stay away from the Voltaris. <sighs> but no. Why listen to Gallius? <laughs> Gallius. Who never leaves his workshop. <clears throat> and now, I'm the last of my family. <clears throat> I have not seen him in many years. My brother and I never agreed on much. But despite our differences, I'm going to miss him. You must be Sen, the clanless Ardoni whom Thalius rescued. 
And who might you be? Hello, sir. My name's Igneous. He's a friend. Hmm. Let us take this conversation to the lower level. We will be more comfortable there. Oh, lava! They could... Thalius never gave me any final words, but he did speak of this place, of Ataraxia, just before the ambush. I know what he would have wanted. There is a war coming. That much is certain. We must prepare for it as best we can. We will not get any help from the kingdoms, with Sidonia and Carthen locked in their conflict. I've actually always wanted to visit Carthen. Perhaps I can help with that issue. Igneous, but we've only just arrived. I'm a traveler, Sen. And if I could end this conflict, I may end the oppression of Magnarites everywhere. Sidonia and Carthen have the two largest armies of Ardonia. Uniting them is a necessity. And who better than a Magnarite to do it? It sounds good to me. It really was nice meeting you, Sen. I'm gonna miss the only friend I've ever had. Wait, Igneous? You're gonna leave just like that? Hey, I have a short lifespan, remember? There's not a moment to waste. A bit of patience may save you even more time, my young friend. The borders of Carthen are closed, and the people suspicious. However, I have a contact in Sidonia who can aid you. Take this gold, sail to Meridian, and find Aaron the Fletcher. Be cautious, though. Magnarites are not welcome in Sidonia. Thank you, Gallius. I hope we'll see each other again, Sen. I think we will. Goodbye, Igneous, and good luck. I'm sorry, Sam. No, wait! Wait, come back! Too late. I see you have quite the appetite. I haven't had much to eat since... Well since everything happened. You may feast and rest easy now. As long as you are here, you will be under our protection. Thank you. Gallius, 
If the Voltaris were nearly wiped out in the Great War, why do you believe such drastic preparations are necessary? Times are changing. And Thalius knew it before the rest of us. I myself may not get around much, but acquiring information has been somewhat of a specialty of mine. At this very moment, the armies of Felden have begun their war against the Necromancers. A dark shroud will soon spread across the kingdom of Felden. The Ardoni clans have called many warriors south to exact revenge on the Voltaris and destroy them once and for all. Your friend Igneus travels to Carthen to settle a civil war between two kingdoms. And, most exciting of all, there have even been reports that the first Ender Dragon has been hatched in over a hundred years. If we are to prevent a second Great War, we are going to need everyone. I will gladly fight. What must I do? I will train you, Sen. As Thalius would have. Now come with me. There is something I must show you. Even though I avoided the battles and ignored my brother's warnings, part of me believed in him. I do not just make tools, Sen. I have been preparing for the Voltaris in my own way. How long has it been? One and a half centuries? Well, what are you all gawking at? Stand firm. Our days of hiding in the shadows are at an end. Voltaris, even after all this time, you do not know when to admit defeat. You traveled all this way for us. I'm flattered. However, you should have got better prepared. Second thought, you should have come sooner. Even your combined forces are too late to stop the coming doom. We will soon see which of us is doomed.
Death Singer. Yet it was they who slaughtered my people and denied me the prime songs, which were rightfully mine. Why, Killian, do they call you Tide Singer? Because I have united the people of Ardonia against this nightmare you have created! <laughs> your ability to wield the songs. And I wonder what you would have done had you been given the Primes. The Prime songs have always been your desire, not mine. I would have refused them, for no one should wield their combined power. <laughs> that is what they all say, until you have felt them for yourself. What are you doing here, Ingressus? What sort of magic are you attempting to unleash? You have already lost. You are right. I have lost this war. <laughs> but you have not defeated me. You are my greatest adversary, Achillian. You united the clans, allied with the Ender Knights, and brought together an army which I could never have hoped to destroy. And you... You, Achillian, stood between me and the Prime Songs. Do you remember who it was who suggested I enter the tournament in the first place? This war. Not now. But I will return. Long after this battle is over, and I have been forgotten. When Ardonia has grown weak, and my enemies are gone. And when you are no longer there to stop me!